And basically, what we're doing is to use two movements. One is the Tan Sao. One, you rotate to the Bong Sao, uh, to the Bong Sao, to the Bong Sao, rotate to Tan Sao. And then the Fok Sao stay in the same position. So using the elbow to protect the center. So to, to start, the initiate the, um, the attack, and I can start from here, and then I control the elbow to, to go to the blind side from here. So if I, if I bring this palm stride a little bit over there, and then I open up this, then I can go to the blind side and control. So fighting on the blind side, the advantage is this, that uh, I don't need to deal with this one, because if this cross, I can come around and wrap up the two arms. So for the same, for the same reason that if I go like that, I can control the elbow from here, and I'm on, the, on his uh, left side, and if this comes along, and I can pin this up, right? So we're going to repeat this again. So from here, right? And then, or we go from here, right? Okay. Now, the energy that the Qi are using is the forwarding energy towards the center of your opponent, right? So the two arm that has to be See, if one arm is more stronger than the other, you're exposing this arm as a weakness because even though this is probably closer to my throat, but because it's, it's vulnerable to be trapped or to be taken around. So, so that's why you always have the contact point here and the contact point there, uh, almost on the same plane. Right, so you got from here, or you got from here. Right. So to control the blind side, you're using, you align your center, center line in the center, parallel to his shoulder. So you can, and you can also go to attack from the target that on the back of his body that can very hard to defend from here. So you, you, uh, you want to go to the blind side, control the elbow, control the blind side. So you got from here, one, two, right? So, so we got repeat this a few times. So do you have any questions, uh, Sifu Eric? Uh, first question, Sigong, is what is the definitive purpose of Qi Sao? Qi Sao is to train your uh, contact reflexes, right? But because you are in such a close range, and you also you can train your eyes. Mm. And uh, the close range, uh, because, see, in, in uh, uh, the person react like this, when they see something, they process it and then they react, but to, to the visual reflexes, about 0.2 of a second. But the Qi Sao reflexes can go down to like 0.03 of a second, almost, almost eight times faster mm. than, than the visual reflexes, right? So that's why if you, say for instance, say if you throw a punch, uh, throw a strike, and then uh, if my eye have to see your punch, and react usually is too very difficult because the reaction is too slow. But on here, it's like you're getting the vibration. It's like fishing. So the vibration of this, and then straight away, straight away, I feel the energy. Feeling for the change. And feel for the changes, mm -hmm. the energy. And then you can react much faster. So that Qi Sao, so in fighting, they have three stages. Uh, before contact, contact, and exchange. So Qi Sao is very good for contact and exchange stages. At close range, where you At don't close have your range, eyes right? as much. You, 
And, and also, because we are here, we're not going to waste the opportunity. Also, train our eyes. See, our eyes are trained usually in normal activity that uh, at a distance. You know, this is a comfortable distance. If somebody come up to talk to you like this, you're not comfortable, right? Yes, because you're not really, really trained at that distance, mm. right? But in Chi Sao, because you, your eyes are looking at here, there's critical range just here. So your eyes are training, so you can actually improve your visual reflexes as well, apart from the contact reflexes. And where specifically do you look? Uh, you look at the, the elbow that's moving. You look at the elbows moving. So in this case, it would be your right this tongue cell and yeah, bone cell. Yeah. Even though, but you also compensate by the energy, mm -hmm. right? So you, you're looking at the elbows moving, right? So if you say, if you're using the elbow that is not moving to attack me because I can, because it's contact, so I can also feel mm -hmm. from here because when you're trying to maybe push me away and I know that the energy is going away from me, right? So that how it works is let's do one arm first and then we can we can explain how it works, right? So once we once we lock into this position, right, your energy is is going towards me. And my energy is going towards you, right? So one of the one of the thing is that a lot of people they do that uh, with the folks out. Mm. And that does not stop the person. Yeah, you can see the opening. Right? You can you can always have to stop the person coming in. So the, the Fox are supposed to be like that, right? So you don't need to specifically pushing this, this keep pushing this arm away, mm. right? So if you push your way in, no, no, you push your way in, right? That means because this this tunnel they allow you to come in like that, but it's going going away from my your, my body, right? Mm. But if you force your way in. You have to push out that way, so that's why I'm allowed to come around. Come around. I, I have enough time to come around because you going out there. I come around to. So I'm pushing to the side. Yeah. So your energy, the energy is the most important thing that you don't you 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 don't <coughs> push your trying to barge your way in. Right. Okay. Hi. So. So we got we got two movements that one laughs out, right? Uh, so so uh, a lot of these chi sao jewels can be applied in real situations. So later on we will we will do you know we will do uh, uh, like uh, 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 some some drills that using this chi sao uh, technique, right? But I just want to show you something, right? So if I if I throw a punch, and then you check my arm, so the check is actually is not an attacking move because you are pushing my punch over there. So it allows me to come around, right? Mm. Okay. Now, but if I if I punch low, right? If I punch low, you check, and if because this arm is. Is lower, so I can actually come around from above for this, right? So you set me up. Yeah, but if you, if you, let's switch your guard, right? Okay. So if if you, if I punch here, that is the, that is what we were doing, that I come around from here. So if I do here, and then I come around, mm. right? So this is also a very good drill because you you attack. And then you're using his force to push your arm around, 